All right, today we are going to put the bird cam camera in the front yard. Uh, so I gotta go to the store because, well, I'll show you. Here, let me, first, I gotta grab my wife's lunch. So I, we gotta, gotta drop this off on the way. Basically, uh, it's gonna come through the house right here. So I have to drill a hole. We need to have a box out there, and then we're going to have to trench through here over to the bird feeder. All right, let's drop this off to my wife. And it's Sunday, so parking is free. Uh, like, nothing. Okay. Yeah. That was her. Mm. Dropped off lunch. I don't know why she's still with me. All right, off to Lowe's. All right, let's go in and I didn't really make a list, but see if I can figure out what I need to buy. Electrical, that's what I'm looking for. I need those like uh, boxes. Let's see. There we go. I think that's going to be perfect. All right, so here's the deal. I was uh, in Lowe's and I, I ran out of hands. So we got this, we got the, the boxy deal that's going to go outside the house. I did find a cover for it. It was on the other side of the aisle for some reason. And of course we have the, the half inch conduit that's just gonna go down to the ground. Then in the ground, I'm gonna probably just put the ethernet cables. I'm gonna run two, cause if you run one, why not run two? Um, and I just think I'm just gonna put it like in a garden hose underground instead of buying all that conduit. I'm just gonna, and plus then it's more bendier. We have to, uh, drill through the house, which is probably the, the scariest part. I don't know if you can see down here, uh, but there is an ethernet cable that is run from the server room that comes out here. I'm gonna use that same box, I'm gonna drill through the back of it and then go outside. But the first thing is I have to get that hole drilled uh, so I know where to put the box outside. So I'm gonna go gather the drills and stuff. I think I have a really long drill bit and I really, really hope that it doesn't get wrapped around like insulation because I've done that before and then like the drill bit stuck in the wall. That's not great. Turns out I'm not really a professional uh, builder guy. I can't find my drill. I, it's stupid, right? I, I, I literally cannot find my drill. It's not like it's a really super nice drill. It's a plug in the wall drill, like, you know, old school where you need power from the mains. And um, yeah, I can't find it. I have to go buy a drill to drill a hole. Which, I mean, I realize that's why a person would buy a drill, but come on, come on. At least it's on sale with the Black Friday sale. This is not ideal, but I am actually just going to drill right through the back of this box and kind of angle down so that if it, if water were to get in, it would drain out of the house. I mean, it would probably go into the walls and rot everything, but no, it's going to be like a down angle, but I got to get the drill. All right. Well, wish me luck. Yeah, that's just a hole to the outside. We're gonna fill that with something. Holy cow, that is not, there's no insulation, there's no, wow. All right, here we are, and sure enough, 
the hole made it through. Not in a bad spot, right in the middle. I was I was worried it was going to be like right on an edge, but no, it's perfect. It's right in the middle. So I am going to mount this right here. Uh, but first I got to drill a hole and I'm going to use the only drill bit that I know where it is, which is this enormously long one. So I'll do that and then uh, we'll mount it up on the wall. All right, cool, cool, cool. Got that in place. Now let's get some cable. Do have to watch out, there's a lot of poop on the ground. Not for me. I'm gonna cut this. I'll be right back with another one. Okay, second one is poking out now. I'm actually pulling two, even though I'm only putting one camera up right now. I still wanna have a second cable over there because I think I wanna have a bird bath out front and I wanna be able to put a camera on that as well. So uh, I'll probably mount it on the bird feeder over there and then point it at the bird bath wherever the bird bath might be. Anyway, that's the plan. Now, uh, I guess I gotta get a shovel and stuff. All right, I got a shovel, crazy shovel, and I got a big chunk of hose. So now I'm just gonna try to figure out how that is all gonna lay out. Almost messed up. Well, that's a lot higher than I thought. I used the wrong piece that I cut. Making a mess. All right, well, I got a new chunk of hose. It's really long though. And I'm gonna try to get a string to go through it so I can pull the cables through. So I'm gonna use a vacuum, we'll see how it goes. I can't believe that worked. All right, now I gotta get some tape to tape the wires on so I can get them through the hose without them coming apart. I'll be back. All right, here we are. Cables, tape, string in the hose. I'm not really great at these things, but I'm gonna do my best. angle so uh, yeah I'm gonna go pull hopefully it'll just work the twine immediately broke Cut it in half. I'm just going to tape the middle. Holy crap. 
Now I'm not actually going to dig a trench. I'm just going to make a slot and then cram it in there. So we'll see how that goes. You're probably thinking, Sean, that's only like two inches down. And yeah, you're right, but I don't care. I just didn't want the lawnmower to hit it. I'm just gonna cut a piece and then slit it and kind of wrap it around as a little more uh, holding power maybe. We'll see how that goes. So we have a thing here. If you can see that, I'm just kind of trying to give it a little bit more support. Oh yeah, totally professional. So down there is where it comes up. I'm gonna run the hose up inside of a squirrel baffle, but right here, I'm gonna have to drill a hole for the wires to come up. I'm not gonna have a conduit here, but I'm hoping it'll be fine. Maybe I should get some kind of conduit. I don't know, but I'll be right back. Oh dear. That is not what I was hoping for. But honestly, I think it'll work fine. I clip off the little sharp thing there. Ooh, that's still all right. So I'm just using this to kind of feed down there, grab a hold of the network cable and pull it up. There you go. That's the ugliest thing ever. But it's gonna work, we didn't even see it. That's probably good. Let's look. So it's horribly, horribly mangled, but there's a decent amount of looseness. And I have a conduit I'm gonna put there, so it should protect the wires. That's the hope anyway. So I'm totally gonna like zip strap this on too. But for right now, I'm just gonna use the adhesive backing, slide it down past the sharpness, and... <laughs> oh yeah. By far the most professional part of the job. All about a conduit here. So pass all the janky metal. <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. running out of daylight. So basically, got the wires up here. Coming off the top, I'm going to uh, put some ends on one of these. I'm just gonna coil the other one up for the other camera at some other time. But then I'm gonna mount the camera right here. I'm gonna run out of daylight, so if I don't get it on camera, uh, 
I'll, I'm going to do the rest inside, but it can be dark after for that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to try to get it crimped really quick, but I do have to run to the store and my live stream is in a half an hour. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, if nothing else, I'll show you an end picture with a flashlight. I did come out right after the live stream and I'm almost out of sunlight so I didn't get the camera but um I did get it so let's let's check it out I just coiled up the wires and kind of zip strapped them in there and you can see actually it turned out pretty nice it goes down into the into the horrible spot but like the uh, I got the conduit there to stop it from hitting um and yeah so here's it's all coiled up i have the extra one just coiled up there and taped off uh i'll eventually like mount the camera here like point it at the bird feeder or bird bath i'll probably put the bird bath over there so the squirrels can't use it to jump from but anyway and then i just kind of like ran along here and then it goes back into the camera and this is just a unify flex camera and uh yeah now i'm gonna go hook up the inside All right, that doesn't do it. <laughs> I don't know which is which, but that's fine. One of them will light up and one of them won't. So uh, this is where a lot of our home, like, uh, entertainment stuff lives, you know, television here. And uh, there is a little network switch there. It's just a little gigabit switch. But the camera is power over Ethernet. Um, and so I had to go get this uh, PoE switch out of oh, what used to be my office. And thankfully this camera out there is, is PoE, like standard 48 volt PoE. Um, and so uh, I'm just gonna swap this out and then uh, we should be in business. I think we're gonna go with yellow. So this goes to my server room. All right, we're gonna say port one is uplink. Hopefully that starts flashing. There we go, okay, got uplink. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so I'm gonna just hold this on my lap here. And now, I, like I said, one of these is connected to something, one is not. These are the power over ethernet side. So, let's see, 50-50 chance, is that it? Well, 50-50 chance, assuming that I crimped it properly outside and inside. All right, it's not looking good. Oh, please turn on. So I don't wanna go out there and Recrimp in the cold dark. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Power over Ethernet kicked on. As soon as it boots up, hopefully we'll get a link light. Hey, 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 hey. all right. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but G3 Flex, that's the one. It just says updating. Oh, now it says excellent. So let's look. Oh, 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 look at that. Hey, it is our bird camera out there. And it's even pointed fairly well. I'm impressed. But it looks like it worked and it only took me all freaking day. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm gonna edit out 98.6% of all of this video and hopefully come up with something that's worth watching. Oh.